I went to high school at the St. Mary Springs. Springs, and then where did Grandpa go? Fondy High. Fondy High. So how did you meet? If you were Springs, the Catholic school, he was the public school. How did you? And he was two years older. Well, oh really? I had a friend. An older man, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend, Lois Bentley, mm -hmm. and we both worked at Max on Six and Park. And uh, Bob Barons would come in with Bob Bentley, because Bob Bentley and Lois Yannikopoulos were going together. Anyway, that's how I first met Bob. And he came home from the service in 56, and another one of my girlfriends said, um, called me, and she said, would you vote with Bob Barons? And? And I said, yes. Why did you say yes? You know, I really liked him from a couple of years before that, and that was it. I think we dated for about three nights, and we knew we were going to get married. Really? Well, what really. what happened in those three nights that you knew you were going <laughs> to marry him? It's just the match was there. When you know, you know, huh? Yeah, when you know, you know. And I knew that Bob was it, and there was going to be no talking me out of it. So the, when I said I do, it was like the weight of the world was off my shoulders. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what was your first date with Grandpa? First date? Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh, how would I remember that? I don't know if we went to... We double dated with uh, Marl Friedel and... Marlo and Ruth Friedel, mm. but I don't remember what we did. Grandpa always uh, gave me this advice. Uh, on your first date, you uh, go to a movie and you say, I'll meet you inside by the popcorn stand. That's so what Grandpa did with all his dates. <laughs> did he do it with you? No, never. The reason he did it is so that way you can avoid paying for the ticket. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so he did that with all his dates, but he didn't do it with you. Smart right. man. You know, there were two or three that thought that they were going to go with Bob or get married to him or whatever, never happened. Never happened. No. No. And I often said that if it would, if he would have, or if I would have decided not to get married in June and he would have started going with somebody else and marrying them, he would have had one hell of a marriage. <laughs> I would have bothered him for ever. <laughs> Really? You th that you had that plan, huh? <laughs> yeah, I had that plan. So roll out the barrel and get the band brewing. Life's got you down. Just keep her moving. 